Okay, how you doing? Welcome back. This is part two of how to make a cash balance sheet. Uh, if you didn't, if you're not to this point, you're gonna have to go to part one to get get caught up to get to the point where we are now. Okay. So what we want to do first thing is let's go down to cell 15 and a, a row. I'm sorry, cell 15. I meant row 15. And let's right click on the row 15 and delete it. Yes, just take it right out. Okay. So now the next thing that I want to do is take all of my numbers that are down here I want to right click and I want to clear the contents alright I don't want nothing in here right now so what I want to do is make sure that the bottom reads what the top is doing so what I want to do is in this first cell I want to type in equals parentheses parentheses and then click in the middle of the parentheses alright and now it's looking for a cell for me to copy. So now I want to click on house payment and hit enter. Now you should see the house payment appear at the bottom. So now remember how smart this thing is. So it says, okay, if you want it there, you probably want the same thing here. So just highlight the cell and pull down the, the, uh, the cross here and pull all the way down. And then the numbers will copy from top to bottom so now whatever I type in the top let's test it let's type in a number that, that we don't have there let's type in 300 and I should see 300 at the bottom under car and yes it is so I have this all set now so now the top will read what the bottom is so now I want to add before I copy these all the way over I want to do one more thing okay so let's click in the cell here because we're going to write another formula we're not going to have the same formula that's at the top here so now what I want to do is type in equals and parentheses. I'm sorry, I want to type in equals and sum. All right, and then parentheses. All right, and so now I want to I want to click on my first cell up here. I want to click on go to house payment. So go to D5 and click click that hit the minus sign and then hit your minus sign and then click the cell next to it alright and you're going to click on that 700 and then you're going to hit enter and already I can tell that it's proper so now if I have 700 and I pay $700 I should have a zero balance and yes I have a zero here so now I want to go down here at the bottom, highlight that cross here, and pull it all the way down. And now that formula is set all the way across. So now I want this formula for January to be set in both both columns. And I just want to take that and just pull it all the way over. All the way over oop, to the end of my table. And now I have a formula set. So I have all my numbering set now. So let's do one more thing down at the bottom. Let's highlight the whole bottom. And because we won't be adding or typing any numbers into the bottom down here. Um, we will, let's just turn this color gray real quick. Just pick a light gray. And that right, we won't be typing in here. But what we will type in here, uh, we should do this. Let's type balance. But this is telling what our balance is here. And let's just copy that. You can copy that way. And then paste it. And I can keep pasting as long as it's highlighted. I can paste for it ever. Alright, just you just click on a cell and either hit paste or control V. And the reason why I'm doing it so quickly is I'm hitting control V versus going up selecting paste when you get to handle the your copy paste with your keys it goes a little quicker okay so now I have all my numbers set so now let's play with some numbers in this real quick let's get used to it um, so where my total is I'm not going to do nothing so my payment let's say my house payment is $800 and let's say I paid $700 I paid, oops, I paid $700, let's click off, 
And down at the bottom it says a balance of $800 and I paid $700 at top and that left my balance was a negative $100. And then here I have a total amount that I paid per month. So now let's, let's define these a little bit. I want you to highlight from cell A3 down to A8. I want you to right click in that cell. I want you to format that cell and then when this pops up select alignment. Then a select center, select center and let's sell the text we want to write up and down and we'll select OK. Oops, I forgot one more thing, I'm sorry. I always do that for me. And then let's say that we want to merge the cells. Now, let's type in actual payment and then let's do the same thing cell A14 to A18 let's right click let's do the same exercise format cell we want to go center oops that is, doesn't say center does it and say center say merge cells so we want to write up and down and we want to hit OK and we want to hit balance. Okay. And let's do one more thing before we go. I think I have enough time to do this. I want you to highlight. Uh, uh, no, we will, we're going to have to do this in another exercise. We're not going to have time to do that. So there you go. You have a balance sheet right here. You have a functional balance sheet where you can change you can add if you want to more items or less items and you can remember you go into the monthly and you set whatever your payments are uh, let's let's do this let's make these let's highlight this across the top so we're going to go to row four highlight all the way across let's right click and format cells this time we want to select bo uh, select border let's select the thick stripe and we're going to make a border across the top that's going to be thick and select OK and then I want you to select the same row going straight across and yes we are going to make that row gray oops I lost control of my mouse Come on here. There we go. Control. And then we're going to go and select the bucket and make it gray. There you go. So whatever's gray, you don't type in. Everything else, uh, you you do type in. All right. So if it's white, you type in it. You can add a value. All right. So this is going to be your payment. And you can highlight that cell and do control C to copy and control V to paste. Okay, and there you have it. You have a balance sheet now. Okay, thank you for tuning in to this eWeb tutorial. This is Kevin signing out. I'll catch you next time. Remember, you can email me at ooakiee3 at yahoo.com if you want to request anything you would like to see on the eWeb tutorial. Okay, I'll talk to you later. You guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.